From generation to generation, the people of South Africa regularly enjoyed the pleasures of our ideal weather conditions under African skies. Although cooking and brying are traditionally some of the most popular outdoor activities, pizza baking has not found its rightful place as part of family and friendship get-togethers. Our kettle cake pizza oven offers the perfect solution. This exciting new invention was developed in South Africa for the local and international markets and an application has been lodged for patent rights. The Kettle Caddy Pizza Oven, better known as Kettle Caddy, fits perfectly onto a standard 570mm kettle brine and transforms into an extremely effective pizza oven. The success of Kettle Caddy is vested in the simplicity of the product. The only part of kettle caddy that is not a fixture is the pizza stone. Before fitting the kettle caddy onto the kettle brine, first slot the pizza stone onto the pizza rotator wheel. Remember that the kettle brine can reach temperatures in excess of 400 degrees Celsius. The purpose of the barrier basket is to prevent the flames from reaching the pizza stone directly. Take the barrier basket and position it in the front of the kettle brine in order to provide maximum space to prepare your fire. Take three to five small pieces of fire lighters and position them in the vacant area behind the barrier basket and light it with a match or lighter. Depending on the number of pizzas you wish to bake, Slowly add some charcoal on top of the burning fire lighters. For a 10 pizza baking cycle, approximately half a bag of charcoal is required. Whilst the charcoal is burning, place the kettle caddy together with a pizza stone on the kettle brine and leave the lid off until the charcoal burns properly. Place a few, approximately four to five, pieces of hardwood on top of the hot charcoal. Be sure to use wood that is dry and not too thick. It needs to flame up easily and burn constantly. See on the insert the difference between normal size brie wood and the ideal size to use on the kettle caddy. Once the wood fires up and burns properly, place the kettle lid on top of the kettle caddy pizza oven outer ring. Be sure to keep adding wood during the baking cycle, as you will always need flames inside the chamber for better results. Prepare the pizza dough and pizza ingredients before you light the fire. Before placing the pizza on the countertop for preparation, make sure that you lightly sprinkle some dry flour on the top in order to prevent the dough from sticking. We recommend that you make use of the pizza base and tomato paste as supplied by our Caddy Chef division. Remember, the success of your pizza baking depends on the quality of your pizza base and tomato paste. Remove the pizza base from your freezer at least one hour prior to preparing your pizzas. Start preparing your first pizza with the basting and toppings so as to ensure that you are ready with the first baking by the time your oven is ready. Before placing the pizza onto the pizza stone, lightly sprinkle some dry flour onto the pizza stone and the pizza paddle whilst the pizza stone is inside the oven warming up. Again, to prevent the pizza from sticking both to the pizza stone and the pizza paddle. Wait for 20 to 25 minutes until the oven has had enough time to build up sufficient heat. And with your paddle included in your purchase, slide the pizza through the pizza slot opening onto the pizza stone inside the Kettle Caddy Pizza Oven. Bake the pizza for 8 to 10 minutes depending on personal preference. Always be sure to use your small spatula or tongs to manually turn your pizza stone rotator wheel to ensure an evenly baked pizza. 
Do not be afraid to remove the kettle lid at any stage during the baking cycle. As soon as your chamber needs a bit of air to get the flames going again, open the lid for as long as it takes. Normally it will take a few seconds and as soon as the flames fire up properly again, close the lid and continue with your baking cycle. When the pizza is ready, use the pizza paddle and small spatula to lift it out of the oven and place it on a wooden board for cutting. Multiple pizzas can be baked and enjoyed in a sitting. Now all that's left to do is to enjoy it with your friends and family. Everyone will want a piece.